Okay, um, Duracoat. Duracoat. Duracoat everything or nothing. Uh, this video today is going to be brought to you by the 2011 National Rifle Association. Join now. Also, by the Constitution Bill of Rights, Article 2. The right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. If you're being infringed, speak up and join the National Rifle Association. <sighs> okay, I've seen a lot of YouTube videos on uh, Duracoating. And I looked into it a little bit and it's expensive and it takes a long time. And you got to disassemble everything and who needs it? So the alternatives... That I came up with are oh and by the way today I'm gonna to be using as a pointer this red paint stirring stick right here the alternatives to that are rust-oleum Krylon Valspar and more rust-oleum these are the kind of things you can find down at Kmart or Walmart or wherever Easy to use and about half the price, probably less than half the price. And the other alternative is factory uh, Dura coating. And the first rifle down there is a Russian M44 in 7.62 by 5.4. Uh, that's an aftermarket stock. Um, that's all I did about the stock. Now it looks dura coated. A couple of knives there in the middle. A couple of cheap combat knives. Easily to, easy to dura coat. <laughs> Actually, to paint, not dura coat. Buck makes a couple of really good knives that are already camouflaged. And there's that uh, SOG Aegis and digital camo. The next one up, next rifle up is a RWS .177 air rifle. That's been painted. Next one is a Remington Model 700 in 260 caliber. That's an aftermarket stock. And the last one up there is a it's an SKS a little paint. Makes that black stock look pretty cool. There's also a pair of, let's see, Bushnell 10 by 42 binoculars. They're not bad. And then over here, a few more. The rifle on the left is a Gamo. Another air rifle, 177 air rifle. The one in the center is a Beeman air rifle. And the last one is a Thompson Center, 50 caliber uh, black powder rifle. They're all either factory camouflaged or um, painted with your everyday Krylon, Rust-Oleum, and Valspar paints. So that expensive uh, dura coat is fun if you got the time and you got the money, but this is the alternative. Okay, that's it. See you next time.